Do you work for the Spanish government? On what? No, this call, you, I'm sorry, it's truly really inappropriate. It's very inappropriate. It's very, very inappropriate. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. Call the New York consulate of the Spanish government. Uh, lo siento, no hablo bien español. English, This call may be recorded. It's Dave Ridley from NHExit.com. I have some questions with regard to the Catalonia crisis. Is your embassy or is your consulate treating Catalonians in the U.S. different from Spaniards in the U.S.? I'm sorry, can you repeat again? Um, is your consulate treating Catalonians in the U.S. different from Spaniards who are in the U.S.? Um, and in, in order to, to answer any question, it is necessary to, to contact the, this uh, information office, the diplomatic information office, because here uh, all the journalists, uh, journalists and related uh, inquiries, they have to go through this office. We, we cannot inform here, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, speak, speaking for you personally, what are the ethical implications of working for the Spanish government when the Spanish government is beating up people in Catalonia? I'm sorry, but I'm not authorized. You, got, you can contact another, another, other Spanish institutions located um, for sure uh, in New York or I'm not sure about uh, probably Boston as well, um, but here, uh, as you can <laughs> assume, I cannot give you that information by phone from from the council. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't expect you to, but I do appreciate you at least not hanging up on me. Sure, absolutely. All right. Best of luck. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. It's funny as I'm doing this, I find I'm um, I'm talking to you, the viewer, right now. <laughs> the it's I find that uh, you know I'm configured for talking to the first person who answers the phone. I'm not configured for talking to the press office. Although in a sense, if you think about it, talking to the press office generally is going to mean talking to a voicemail and never getting a call back, because I'm just not. I'm not much good at, uh, you know, saying these sort of softball questions into the voicemail uh, because I, I guess I just don't like to leave them on. I, I think I, I like them knowing when they hear the voicemail what they're dealing with. <laughs> but that results in them never calling back, basically. But uh, I'll think of some questions later for this uh, press office that they have and probably give it a call, uh, assuming it's in a, a, a one-party consent area. All right, now I'm trying to call the Spanish consulate at Houston. Consulado General de España, Houston. For holidays, press the... Please wait a moment. Hello? Uh, can you hear me okay? Yes. This call may be recorded. It's Dave Ridley from NHExit.com. I have a question for you personally. What are you doing from your position of power to stop Madrid from beating up people in Catalonia? I'm still here and I'm still listening. Where are you calling from? What? I beg your pardon? Where are you calling from? Why don't you refer to the, your proper consulate, BCC, the E? Houston, Texas, for in New York. Uh, because anyone working for the Spanish government needs to answer questions, or at least needs to face them. What would you say is the main difference between you working for the current government and a person 50 years ago working for the Franco government? Uh, you know, uh, this call is not right because I am a private citizen and you are going to take this uh, work um, as governmental declarations and that's not fine. This is not good, what you are doing. Um, do, you, do you work for the Spanish government? 
and what? No, this call, you, I'm sorry, it's truly really inappropriate. It's very inappropriate. It's very, very inappropriate. What what's, e what's even more inappropriate is not allowing people to no, vote. No, I'm not going to continue. I'm sorry, because this call is very inappropriate by your side. I, I'm sorry, bye. You know, I've called several other people working for your government, and all have been polite, and none have hung up. <clears throat> all right, very well. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.